seven tablets of creation. The first tablet. When the heavens above were yet unnamed, and the name of the earth beneath had not been recorded. Apsu, the oldest of the beings, their progenitor. Mamu, Tiamat, who bears each and all of them. Their waters were merged into a single mass. A field had not been measured, a marsh had not been searched out. When of the gods, none was shining. A name had not been recorded, a fate had not been fixed. The gods came into being in the midst of them. The god Lakmu and the goddess Lakamu were made to shine. They were named. Together they increased in stature, they grew tall. Anshar and Kishar came into being, and others beside them. Long were the days, the years increased. The god Anu, their son, the equal of his fathers, was created. The god Anshar made his eldest son Anu in his own image. And the god Anu begat Nodimu, Ia, in the image of himself. The god Nodimud was the first among his fathers, endowed with understanding, he who thinks deeply, the orator, exceedingly mighty in strength above his father Anshar, who begat him, unrivaled amongst the gods, his brothers. The confraternity of the gods was established. Tiamat was troubled, and she, their guardian. Her belly was stirred up to its uttermost depths. Apsu, the watery abyss, could not diminish their brawl, and Tiamat gathered herself together. She struck a blow, and their works destroyed. Their way was not good. At that time, Apsu, the progenitor of the great gods, shouted out and summoned Mamu, the steward of his house, saying, O Mamu, my steward, who makest my lover to rejoice. Come to Tiamat, we will go. They went, they lay down on a couch, facing Tiamat. They took counsel together about the gods, their children. Apsu took up his word, and said to Tiamat, the Holy One, he made mention of a matter, saying, End their way, Tiamat. By day I find no peace, by night I have no rest. Verily, I will make an end of their way. I will sweep them away. There shall be a sound of lamentation. Lo, then we shall rest. Tiamat, on hearing this, was stirred up to wrath and shrieked to her husband. Unto sickness she raged alone. She uttered a curse, and unto Apsu spoke, saying, Whatsoever we have made, we will destroy. Verily, their way will be filled with disaster. Lo, then we shall rest. Mamu answered, and gave counsel unto Apsu. The counsel of Mamu was evil and dire, in his lack of respect for the gods. Come, destroy their way which is strong, then verily by day thou shalt find peace, and by night thou shalt have rest. Apsu heard him, his face grew bright, for that they were planning evil against the gods, his children. Mamu embraced his neck, he took him on his knee and kissed him. They, for example Mamu and Apsu, planned the cursing in the assembly. They repeated the curses to the gods, the eldest sons. The gods made answer. They began lamentation. Endowed with understanding, the prudent god, the exalted one, Ea, who pondered everything that is, Ea searched out their plan. He brought it to naught. He made the form of everything to stand still. He recited a cunning incantation. 
very powerful and holy. In the British Museum, tablet lines 63 to 108 are either wanting entirely or are much too broken to translate. The fragments of the text show that Iyar waged war against Absu and Mamu. Iyar recited an incantation which caused Absu to fall asleep. He then loosened the joints of Mamu, who in some way suffered. But he was strong enough to attack Iyar when he turned to deal with Absu. Iyar overcame both his adversaries and divided Apsu into chambers and laid fetters upon him. In one of the chambers of Apsu, a god was begotten and born. According to the Ninevite theologians, Ea begat his wife, who is not named, and his son, Marduk. And according to the theologians of the city of Ashur, Lakmu begat his wife and Lakmu, a son who is none other than Anshar, or Ashur. A nurse was appointed to rear him, and he grew up a handsome child, to the great delight of his father. He had four ears and four eyes. A statement which Wallace Budge suggests that he was two-headed, and resembled the Latin god Janus. That would be the double-headed eagle. Mamu, Apsu, and Marduk. They are all born from the nest. The fragments continue. They formed a band and went forth to battle to help Tiamat. They were exceedingly wroth. They made plots by day and by night without ceasing. They offered battle, fuming and raging. They set the battle in array. They uttered cries of hostility. Umu Kubur, who fashioned all things, set up the unrivaled weapon. She spawned huge serpents, sharp of tooth, pitiless in attack. She set up the viper and the snake, and the god Lakamu, the whirlwind, the ravening dog, the scorpion man, the mighty storm wind, the fish man, the horned beast. This would be the Floodstorm weapon, also known as Anzu, but also Mamu. The plot thickens. They carried the weapon, which spared not, nor flinched from the battle. Most mighty were Tiamat's decrees, they could not be resisted. Thus she caused eleven monsters of this kind to come into being. Among the gods, her firstborn, who had collected her company, that is to say, King U, she set on high. She made him the great one amongst them, leader of the hosts in battle, disposer of the troops, the bearer of the firmly grasped weapon, attacker in the fight, he who in the battle is master of the weapon. She appointed, she made him sit down, in goodly apparel, saying, I have uttered the incantation for thee. I have magnified thee in the assembly of the gods. I have filled his hand with the sovereignty of the whole company of the gods. Mayst thou be magnified, thou who art my only spouse. May the Anunnaki make great their renown over all of them. She gave him the Tablets of Destinies, she fastened it on his breast, saying, As for thee, thy command shall not fall empty. Whatsoever goes forth from thy mouth shall be established. When King U was raised on high, and had taken the heavens, which literally means the god Anotum, he fixed the destinies for the gods, his sons. Open your mouth. Let the fire god be quenched. He who is glorious in battle and is most mighty shall do great deeds. I have many questions here, 
I'm sure you do too. So here are my questions. Please hit that notification bell to ensure that you're notified of each upload. Share, like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. For more Mythology 7 documentaries.